<clears throat> Dr. P here talking Korean entertainment. This will probably be filed under a regular video and not a short because I think I have a lot to say. And this one makes my blood boil. Remember back in January, I believe it was, we got word of an army nurse, an officer, an army nurse, running from her base over to the facility where Jin was being housed to give him a vaccine. She wasn't supposed to be there, they said, and she only did it because she wanted to be the one who vaccinated Jin. That everybody said how awful this was. Jin needed to be protected from a crazy loon like this. Army was asking for her head on a platter. They wanted the woman destroyed. They wanted her arrested. They wanted her jailed. They wanted her kicked out of the military. They wanted Jin protected from this obviously crazy lunatic. They wanted to destroy this woman. A career army officer. A nurse. They wanted her life destroyed. And they almost got it. They almost got it because they wanted to protect their beloved Jin. You know what? Jin is a private in the U or U.S. Army. Listen to me. Jin is a private in the Korean Army, the Rock Army. That's all he is now. I know who he is. He's still Jin. I get it. But what are we supposed to do? Is everybody who now comes in contact with him supposed to fear for their reputation and their lives and their careers simply because they came in contact with Jen. Look, somebody made up a story about this nurse. It went viral. Army lost their minds. And don't tell me they didn't. I read this. I watched this closely. I defended the nurse, of course. Army lost their minds. K netizens lost their minds. They literally wanted this woman destroyed. Turns out, turns out it was bull. Turns out somebody was lying. Turns out they did an investigation and found that she had permission from her supervisor to go do this because the other unit was short supplied and short handed. Yeah. The nurse did her freaking job. She went to the facility and took care of Jin as well as every other soldier there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For that, you wanted her head on a platter. You wanted her drawn and quartered. That's what you wanted. So Army, dear Army, I love you so much. You hear the sarcasm in that? Dear Army, you need to apologize to this nurse. Period. With a T. Period, as you guys like to say. I already see it. I already hear the excuses and see the excuses. Well, you know, blah, 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 blah. the Army this and the Army that. No, we didn't. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear it. You guys went immediately for her head. Like you do online with everybody else who says anything bad about your beloved boys. You immediately stop thinking and go right into kill mode. I don't mean actual, but you know exactly what I mean. You go right into character assassinate mode. Happened to me many times. The curses come out. The fact that I'm older comes out. I'm called stupid. All that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is what you did to this woman, except you took it so much further. You wanted her life because of a lie. You wanted her life, you wanted her career. You wanted her ruined to protect your beloved Jen. He didn't do anything wrong, and neither did she. But you wanted her destroyed. Apologize, apologize apologize.
Please like, subscribe, share, comment if you want. I look forward to comments, especially on this one. Dr. P signing out. Have a great day.